Steve, after two pretty intense weeks of dual meets, mm -hmm. you guys had a weekend off last week. How did you use that with the team? Uh, well, it was nice to catch our breath a little bit. Uh, you know, we basically just used it as a normal training week. You know, did a little bit of lifting and some practices and stuff. We're heading towards taper, so um, a lot of it now is just detail work and sharpening up and, um, you know, used it as a, a weekend to just kind of catch our breath. Talk about how taper is different this year with the way that you've trained throughout COVID and, mm -hmm. and the adjustments that you've had to make. How do you, how are you adjusting your taper? So it has been a different year um, because we don't have a three day conference championship, uh, and it's going to be uh, basically ending our season on a dual meet where we're doing everything in one day. Uh, it changes the way you do things with your taper because you're not trying to string it out over three days. It'll be one day and done, which means we can rest more. We can be a little bit sharper. Um, it also changes how you taper going into it because we've tried to be a little bit sharper for all of our dual meets rather than, um, you know, kind of just training through dual meets, you know, and then waiting to the very, very end. We've tried to be a little bit quicker all the way along. So it, it makes a difference, you know, in, in when we drop our weights and in how long we do taper with everybody. Um, but taper's a time for us where it gets very individualized, where the rest of the year it's kind of... Uh, you know, you have different groups, a sprint group and a mid-distance group and a distance group, and they all do their own thing. When you get into taper, it gets really individual, um, you know, because you taper a 220-pound, 6'4 athlete much differently than you would maybe your 5'1, uh, you know, female distance swimmer. Uh, you know, what they require are very different things. So it gets very case-by-case uh, -case basis. This weekend, you're going to be on the road at the University of Puget Sound. Mm -hmm. uh, just talk about what challenges the loggers will present uh, in the swimming duel. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm excited about it. Uh, with, you know, UPS is always a really well-coached team. Chris Meyer's been doing what he does for quite a while, and they're always really good in all the stroke events. Uh, their turns and walls are always top-notch. Uh, they'll be prepared for us. I'm kind of excited for it. It's... Uh, um, we love going up against UPS. They'll be a good team for us on both sides. It'll be a task. Uh, 